All right, so you guys, you, you did it, man. Coming off that hill is just amazing. That's just great. Uh, coming off of yesterday, you know, you must have been amped getting out there. Uh, everybody's all stoked. What a ride, man. What was it like? Uh, it was a big adrenaline rush. It was who was the fastest at the bottom, and shoot, all three of us were at the bottom at the same time, and it was just who could get out in front first, and we ended up pulling it off. Yeah, that's amazing. How does it feel to have a, a horse in the, in the winter circle there? Oh, it feels pretty good. You don't know how it feels. It's uh, amazing. <laughs> so going into today, what, what were you guys thinking about when you're going in today? Uh, we really didn't get to run our horse today. Yeah, we uh, pulled him, had a little cut on him, so we decided to yeah. save it and play our cards right because we were still in the average. Yeah. So I just jumped on another for a young buddy of mine and yeah. just jumped on his horse for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What a pack, huh? Yeah, it was, uh, they thinned him out this weekend, so it was a wide open race today up there on the line. Yeah, yeah. that's great, man. Did you guys catch catch what was going on behind you? Did you see that at all? Oh, I yeah. was beside him. Were you, I, was, oh, I was in the back. So you saw him <laughs> going yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was watching that one on the left side of me, and I about clipped him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's crazy. Had you been had you been that close to somebody that went down before? Oh, I wrecked off of it right at the top. Oh, and wow. I rolled down it before. Yeah. Yeah, how about you? Oh, I wrecked in the bottom a few times. Yeah. Got run over by the herd. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, both those guys uh, looked like they got up and walked walked off, so yeah. that was good. That was real good. Good to see. Yeah, horses are good, too. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Usually when you wreck in the middle of the hill, you most of the time you walk away from it because you're just in the sand. Yeah, it, yeah. Just, it just shoves you in there more, yeah. <laughs> and oh. then you got to pull yourself out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's next for you guys? Uh, turn them out in pasture. Yeah, this is the only race he races every year. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. All right. Do you have any other horses you're going to be running? Um, not at the moment, except for a relay team. His got a relay team, and we got a relay team. So. All right. So you guys headed to Kalispell? Yeah, we're heading to Kalispell next. All right. Yeah, we're a starter team, so we're just going to wait till the fairs, our local fairs, to do our relay team. All right. What's the name of your team? Uh, we really haven't uh, went public with it yet. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what? ours is Spokane. We've had ours for a few years. Yeah. So, you're running with uh, TJ? TJ Flett, yeah. TJ Flett. What's the, how's, that, how's that team looking this year? Uh, they're looking pretty good. They're going to Kalispell this weekend, and sounds like that's going to be a pretty wide open race up over there. So, they should do pretty good. That's good. Well, thank you for taking time, guys. We really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, be safe out there. Good yeah. to see you. Yep. Right. Good to see you. Thank Thanks you. again. You bet. Right. Um, so how, how long have you been in the rodeo business? The best family is kind of well-known. You grew up on a ranch? Yeah, I have. And uh, probably since I was about nine years old. And I quit riding bulls when I was about 42. And then I got interested in horses like this here and getting in the suicide race and flat track in a little bit once in a while yeah so, so yeah you, you've been training a, kind of this next generation to come off the hill well everybody kind of does that you know they see a kid that's interested in something and you know and they'll say well come on over you know we'll we'll throw you on a horse when we think you're ready you know or let them clean the stalls or whatever until they get nerve enough up to get on one you know it's just the way it is you got to work your way up you know but so your horse Houdini won Friday night and yesterday. Uh, what were the conditions, do you think, this year that really helped Houdini uh, take the lead? Well, my jockey really helped me out this year. He's uh, his, a uh, rodeo cowboy, so he knows how to ride pretty good. And it was the first time we ever used spurs on him, so that was part of it too. And I would never let my other jockeys use spurs because I figured they'd get bucked off. But I told Fran, you do what you want on him. <laughs> Dropped him off at his house, and here we are today. So uh, the river was lower than it's ever been. Uh, do you think that was an advantage for Houdini? Yeah, because he's a fast horse, but high water is right there all the time, too. He can swim. A lot of horses can't swim in that deep water, but him has been able to swim ever since. Yeah. How, how long have you owned Houdini, and how long have you been running him? Uh, we've been running him about five years, and I've owned him since he was a two-year-old and he is 10 years old now. 
So. And, and do you train them over in Ford at, at your place there, or do you go back and forth? Where do you where do you tra train well, in? Well, this year we just dropped him off with Francis Marchand, and he trained him. So that's we had about three weeks on him. Most of these guys put 90 days on their horses, but we just jerk him out of the pasture and run him. <laughs> so we got an advantage on him. Doesn't cost us as much to feed him. <laughs> and and Saturday he won last night. Yeah. How how was how was that race? Um, he pretty much got the lead in the water, and in the water he, this year he was really strong because it was low, and he's a pretty fast little horse. Yeah. So you think you'll be working Fran, working with Fran in the future? Oh, you bet. We got plans. That's why we held him out today, so he'll be ready for next year. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks, Jim. All right. Thank All right. you to you. <laughs> 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 uh, so TJ, um, uh, Jim was just talking about you discovering a little bit of Houdini. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, when we first got the horse, I was always with Jim, and then nobody, none of the good jockeys even wanted to try him. So then we we're asking everybody, "Hey, you want to try him out?" They're like, "Oh, he ain't enough horse." And then I was like, "Well, I'll ride and I'll show him that he's a horse, a good horse." And sure enough, you know, all last year he was coming off setting pretty good coming right behind the leaders and it established him then I, ca I was gonna ride this year then I got hurt then it's kind of cool my best friend Fran me and him been friends for a long time and he heard I got hurt he said well is your horse available and I was like heck yeah get a hold of Jim and let him know and that is kind of cool situation you know and like I said I told Fran just trust this horse he'll get you where you want to be I guarantee it and sure enough you know he's fighting for the championship and you know, it's just no better feeling. I have no hard feelings. I was one of their biggest fans there right with them. And, you know, my horse wins, I win. And it's even better with my best friend on him. So it's pretty cool. And I'm happy for this horse. I'm happy for Jim because he's put his time in. He's took his lumps. He's just stuck with it. And I'm very proud of this team. And his family took care of the horse like they should. It's awesome. Right on. The right horse, the right jockey, yep. and the right owner-trainer yep. makes for a good combination. Exactly. Right, exactly. right. Um, so uh, Spockany is, is doing good this year. Great, great Indian horse relay team. You, you've built that, and James been uh, supporting you. Yep. Uh, what do you What do you got going for Spockany Indian Relay? We're gonna be going to Kalispell, Montana next weekend, and hopefully compete. We made it to championship last year, and we want to bring titles back. That's our goal. We We go to win and we race hard and we take pride in it and we bring it back to my tribe. There's not very many horsemen, so I'm trying to bring that horsemanship back and that's what my buddy Fran always says, you know, we need more, try to get my younger generation so we can get it built up again. And I hope I can, you know, start something, build something for our future because I, I, my family were horsemen, so that's why I kept going. My grandpa ran a horse off here and I felt pretty honored to do it last year and I wish I could have did it this year. And, I think the future is bright for Spokane though because we got a good jockey and good horses and I hope we can do some good things. So we're a young team. Well, where are some of the places that you've been riding this year? You traveled as far as Wyoming, I think? Yeah, we was in Sheridan middle of July. That was, that was a very tough competition. We ended the last race second, but we had some rough exchanges the first three days. But we're trying a new horse, so we took our lumps like we sh a good team should. So we're learning. Okay. Well, we're sure proud of you at the Spokane Tribe. Uh, we need those Indian cowboys, and, and you're bringing back strong tradition, yeah. you know, all, all the uncles and, and hang and drag team. Yeah, uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll be down there rooting for you, cool. and, and thanks for uh, representing. Yeah, thank all you. All right. Thanks.